Hi, this is Jared from Shuno, and today I want to take a little bit of time to talk about my Shuno Open Template for ArchiCAD 21. Now, if you've been using my templates for a couple of years, especially ArchiCAD 20, um, this template should be very familiar and very comfortable for you, and you should be able to pretty much just open and get to work. Uh, I would say some years when I do a new template, it's a complete overhaul and it's very unlike what I've done before. This year it's really been a streamlining of my previous template uh, and fixing things to make them better. So for instance, um, my layer settings, this is a great example of kind of the um, overall feel of the changes. I went through and I updated how I named my layers. I think there was some inconsistency in the past just from years of doing it that way. And so I've, I've updated that. So for instance, um, I used to have an extension for structural and now I no longer have that. I've updated the extensions to make them uh, much more coherent. So it's about annotation or finish or layers that are hidden on plan or layers that are on plan or here, you know, something that's giving you a pretty clear indication of what that layer is for. Um, so that's just clean that up, cleaned up layers, and as a result, I think it's much easier to use. Uh, likewise, with layer combinations, I've added some dummy layer combinations to separate out the different groups, just like I've done for other attributes. And then as a result, I also have added a few more layer combinations, such as an exterior rendering layer and an interior rendering layer. Um, see what else do I want to talk about with attributes um, so that grouping I went through and I did for everything or for pretty much everything that I hadn't done previously so I've got dummy composites again as a way to separate out groups of composites to be for roofs for floors and slabs for interior walls etc um, I could just go on to show you more and more examples of that you know, we did the same thing with overrides, broke the overrides up into groups, I broke the um, rules up into groups, and why I've become a little obsessive about this and why I think it's so important is it adds just this additional layer of organization to my file and helps me understand better why I'm making a layer, why I'm making an attribute. So if I make a model checking rule or if I make some rule that does something how does that fit in with my other rules? How does it, um, what's its point? You know, I should be able to describe its point simply by placing in one of these groups. So those are the big changes there. Um, the other huge change to the template is with classifications. Now, classifications are new to ARCHICAD 20. Um, they existed in another form in earlier versions, but here they're expandable. Um, and also just have a lot more detail. So this ARCHICAD classification 21 is essentially the IFC uh, two by three classification. I don't think it's two by four, two by three. Um, and in it, it's, you know, all this stuff. I don't wanna go into details about what classification system is, but needless to say, ARCHICAD has all of these different ways to classify an element. And so what that means, select um, a wall under here in classification, you can select what that wall is. So say it's not a wall, it's actually a curtain wall, or better to say, it's not actually a regular wall, it's cladding, or it's a wrapping, or it's a membrane. You can assign it that classification. And why that matters for a couple of things. Um, one, I'll just jump over, show this. Um, under window schedule, scheme settings, um, instead of making a window schedule and a door schedule that looks at the tool type, you know, what uh, um, I'm <laughs> blanking on this here, what tool it is using, I'm not finding it here in the list. Um, but instead, instead of going by what tool, whether the window tool, the door tool, the skylight tool, you can select the classification. So is it classified as a door, a window, 
or a skylight. Why that's important is you have the option to say, you know what, this wall isn't a wall, it's a window. Now, you wouldn't really do it with a wall tool, but maybe you have an object or something where you want to be able to classify the element as something other than the tool. So all my schedules have been updated to be classification-based. Um, and then you look at some other things here. These are other ARCHICAD properties that I've created. Um, and that's the other big thing. And again, it's too much to go into in the video, but I want to give you all kind of a heads up on what's going on here. So if we go to the property manager, um, and let's just select one. So glazing, true, false. Does the element have glazing? You can see here, um, any element with this classification will get this property. Um, and so if you go through here, you can see the different classifications um, showing up. So again, if we select this wall, um, we can go to its properties and we see it has this set of properties. If we change the classification to, say, window, now we go look at its properties, it's got a whole bunch more. And some of these are kind of default generic, so it's already putting the right information, and others of it are you know, for you to customize. Um, but let's go ahead and go back and look at some of these um, classifications, or some of these properties, and then I think we'll wrap up the video because it's probably already pretty long. So in here, uh, I've created a group of design and file organization classifications. Uh, I have a property for design criteria. So if you have a reason why you made the element, you can now have a place in the object or element to type it in there. This won't be ever seen anywhere else, but it's a way for you just to remember, you know, this bed was placed here because this client needs such and such, or this wall is here because I need a pipe, or, or whatever it is. Then I also have a place to type a general note, structural note, electrical note, schedule note. So now if you have an element showing up on a plan, um, the note that's attached to it is lives within that element. And if you have a different note for the electrical plan or the structural plan or a different note on the schedule, it now all lives there. And this data is unified across all elements. So no matter what element you're looking at, the, the note is going to be the same spot. Then I also have uh, ARCHICAD property for show on schedule, true, false. By default, it's true. But you can set it to false, and this will hide an element. So we no longer have to use like ID off or, or these other kludges to hide elements from a schedule. You simply turn this option from true to false, and then it disappears. Uh, as you're going through the property manager in my template, which I encourage you to do, you'll see under the description uh, of any customized properties that I've made that it says Shunome custom property, and then it describes what it is. So you kind of go through here and see a lot of the ones that I did. Um, I think those top notes are the ones that I want to point out the most. There's a number for uh, windows and doors, which I think you'll find helpful and are also very specific to um, the jurisdiction where I work, which is primarily Seattle. Um, I think that's all I'm going to cover. I um, Hope you enjoy the template and that this video was helpful in telling you some of the details of what's going on in the new template. Um, last thing I'll say is, again, I put in a dummy building in this project. I like to do that every time. Um, and if you're doing your own template, I highly suggest doing some very generic, simple building that is similar to the type of work that you do. Um, because it will help you validate your template to help you find holes and mistakes in it, um, and also remind you of that your template functions. So this little building you're looking at, I was able to build, I'd say 99% with favorites. So maybe that's one other thing I'll mention. I have um, close to 200 favorites in this project. There's still more that will be added over time, but uh, I feel like it's a good mix of everything you need to get a project going. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much. Go ahead and 
download the template, use it, check it out, critique it, give me comments, and um, have a good day.